Hey folks, this is uh, my robot. This is uh, not quite its, its final design. It, it's been gone through a lot of, of different uh, versions, some of which have been documented on YouTube before. Um, this one's probably the third main version. Um, overall design, four wheel drive. Um, um, might be obvious, but uh, it's got a transmission. Uh, previously had five speed. Um, that's been upgraded. It's got six speeds now. Um, a low range. Uh, it's kind of a transfer case, transmission hybrid. I'm not quite exactly sure because it doesn't change between two wheel drive and four wheel drive, but um, the low range is kind of. Uh, too low to be to be really used. Um, it's a six to one ratio. Uh, second is three to one. Third is uh, two to one. Fourth is one and a half to one. Fifth is one to one. And the high range is an overdrive. Uh, is is point five to one. It's enormous. It's actually the motors currently that are on there, which will be upgraded, um, aren't strong enough to really to really locomote this this unit um, as as it needs to be locomoted, which is which is part of why going to be redesigned but uh, anyway I figured I'd do a little demonstration um, a little documentation of some of its abilities and, and, and design aspects um, custom built the suspension arms um, th this whole unit um, the front and rear are pretty much uh, identical uh, is, is the key to the overall design and, and right now um, one of its its highlights is, is, is are these switches that's a locking differential function. Um, these things right here. So how it works, uh, we've got some clutches built into built into the uh, body here into into the differential casing. Um, yeah, I'm trying to balance it. Doesn't quite balance well. So when these are engaged like this, or actually that's disengaged, the clutches uh, don't engage the differential casing. When the switches are pointing straight, the clutches are engaged into the differential housing, and um, both ends move as one. It's good for climbing, really good for climbing, um, and that's why I built it in here because I wanted it to be the ultimate rover. It's kind of a quest, but it's actually proving to be quite a challenge because strength. Which maybe you'll get a, a see of that in a later when it drives. The strength of the, I mean, and I've spent a lot of time designing and redesigning and improving the design of these things, and it's pretty, it's pretty rock solid in my opinion. Um, but it's just not quite good enough still, and uh, you know there are in some inherent things which I which I, I have to incorporate to because of the spacing that's necessary for those lockers, and uh, it's just I'm, I'm questioning whether or not they're really necessary or not. Anyway, um, another thing is it's got swivel steering, four four swivel type steering. Eventually these are going to be motorized. Um, the motors actually fit right onto them, but but I took them off for this demonstration just because I wanted to to hand crank them so you could see because uh, also they're not like hooked up to the program you know to the uh, NXT and anything like that. Anyway, front and rear. Um, eventually those are going to be working in unison, you know, when 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 the motor is connected, and you can see it'll be able to maneuver quite well it'll be able to you know have have a very very tight turning radius and also move in a lateral motion in in in, in a number of different um directions um you know say like this both wheels were pitched all the way to one side it could kind of kind of almost almost strafe in, in a sense um diagonal strafe Anyway, so let's let's get some driving going on. Um, put in neutral, start the engines up. Pop that into low. Okay, so this is just low range of six to one. Eventually, I want this to be, and this is pretty quick, and I kind of like the quickness. But the motors, it's, it's, the motors. Um, again, you'll see in, in the higher ranges, and, and even some with some challenges in the low range they aren't sufficient so
Doing a little 360 maneuver here. We come out of this. We're gonna point right away and pop into third gear here. Okay. Travel some distance. Avoid that. Take it out of, out of gear. And disengage. Turn off the engines. Let them cool down. Battery pack is just a test battery pack. It's going to be all Bluetooth and shit with uh, the NXT when it's completely finished. Hardware is the first that needs to be perfected, though. That's not quite perfect yet. So, anyway. Other direction, we're going to go all the way up into fifth gear. Okay, this is probably his maximum speed at the moment. High gear would be a challenge for it. We can give it a shot, actually. Why not? Why not give it some room here? Yeah, see the the high the high range overdrive is just too much. So I anyway, disengage, let those motors cool down a second. Um, the other the other parts of this thing that are might need to be upgraded. Uh, well, actually, it's really just the motors and and, and the, the power structure. I need to I need to make the pot like. I need to strengthen up the, uh, the just overall housing and the gearing. Like, there's a lot of torque that's involved, um, and a lot of force that twists just body, you know, everything. Um, and so, you know, anybody who builds Legos knows that the key to the key is rigidity, structural rigidity, and um, you know, generally it's in a good place right now, but it's just not quite good enough, and. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed the demonstration of the Superbot uh, Rover. Um, call a bot version V5.2. Sign it off.